subscribe to our channel click on bell icon you never miss any update so welcome guys so in this session we are going to talk about how to invoke internet explorer and how to work on internet explorer so for that again let's move on to the selenium official website first and go to the downloads part you need to download internet explorer driver server here so for 32 bit ie you can download this for 62 bit ie you just download this it's a zip file just simply download that it's internet explorer guys not edge once after download is done just extract it yep so I have successfully extracted IE driver server. Let's go ahead and let's see how we can work on Internet Explorer now. So let us move on to the Eclipse. Let me create a new class working on Internet Explorer. New class IE public static void main and just click on finish same again let's start with system properties system dot set property and the key is web driver dot ie dot driver and the value is path right click on IE driver server go to properties and go to security and capture the path that's it next system.set properties has been done next creating a object web driver driver is equal to new internet explorer driver this is a class which is used to work on internet explorer so internet explorer driver successfully import that package and even import the package of web driver too that's it now let me write driver dot get get some website http mm, any website www dot testing tools online dot in this is my official website and once I run it it will open testing tools online dot in in internet explorer right yes localhost web driver waiting for testing tools online dot in yep you can see testing tools online dot in on the screen that's it that's it if by chance if by any chance if a test is failed don't worry just go to internet explorer and you can see the gear here settings right tools to the right side extreme right of a screen you can see a tools and go to internet options go to securities and uncheck this box if enable production mode is checked in you just uncheck that if it is checked in uncheck it and same for the local 
and same for the trusted sites also if this is checked in just check it off that's it and apply okay you run the test then definitely it will work by chance if it is not working then this is the solution for it next this is how we can work on internet explorer if you want to work on safari it's a bit different and it's very much easy too actually in safari there is no need to download any driver that's true let's move on to the selenium official website and check it what's community is saying about that selenium website on the screen safari driver it's depreated means there is no we are not using it anymore so selenium now requires manual installation of ex extension priority automation means we need to add this add-in to the safari browser just go ahead and download this driver and manually associate that to your safari driver clear yep and that's it that's all and in the script whenever you are trying to write for the script there is no need to write either system dot set properties no need to write this so just create an object web driver driver is equal to new safari driver that's it safari driver s is uppercase and d is uppercase you just run the test it will work so anyways it will not run in my machine because i don't have safari on my windows machine clear if it is mac there is no need to create system dot set properties why because the driver is directly given to the browser as a add in clear yes now we have now we have went through how to work on a different browsers